Prince Edward and Sophie inside the marriage of Duke and Duchess. Hello, welcome to my channel where I talk about all things royal. Today, I'm going to talk about some interesting facts about the marriage of Prince Edward and Sophie, the Duke and Duchess of Wessex. Here are some bullet points to summarize their story. Prince Edward and Sophie met in 1987, but they were not romantically involved at first. Edward was dating Sophie's friend and Sophie was working at Capital Radio. They reconnected in 93 at a charity event and started a relationship. Their romance faced some challenges in the mid-90s as they had arguments and pressures from the media. They also had to deal with the scandal of Sophie's topless photo, which was published by The Sun in 99, just before their wedding. The photo was taken by Sophie's former colleague, who sold it for a large sum of money. The Sun later apologized and donated the profits to charity. Prince Edward and Sophie got married on the 19th of June, 99, at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. They wanted a low-key wedding without state or military involvement. The ceremony was mainly a family occasion attended by 550 guests. Edward wore a morning suit while Sophie wore a silk organza dress designed by Samantha Shaw. They exchanged vows using traditional language and did not promise to obey each other. Prince Edward and Sophie have two children, Lady Louis Swinto, born in 2003, and James Viscount Severn, born in 2007. Both children were delivered by emergency caesarean section after Sophie suffered from life-threatening complications. The children are not styled as prince or princess as Edward and Sophie wanted them to have a more normal upbringing. They are also not expected to perform real duties when they grow up. Prince Edward and Sophie are considered to be one of the most stable and happy couples in the royal family. They have been married for nearly 24 years and have supported each other through various challenges and changes. They share a common interest in charity work, especially for causes related to disability, health, education, and the arts. They are also described as best friends who enjoy spending time together and with their children. I hope you enjoyed this video about Prince Edward and Sophie's marriage. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more news like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.